I'm back with Hollywood Recap to discuss the romantic drama Eiffel, from 2021. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel before moving on. The movie begins in 1889 when Gustav recalls his past. He recalls the day three years ago when America thanked him. Due to Gustav's design for the Statue of Liberty's base, the Statue of Liberty could be constructed, and now he was considering his next major project. Meanwhile, his daughter Claire wants to get married, but Gustav ignores her. He was considering building a metro in France. People told him to make a monument that would never be forgotten. Although he was given the idea of a 200-meter building, he still wanted to make a metro because he believed that it would be used for many years to come. Gustav met in Toen, his journalist friend, at a party one night and began preparing to collaborate with him. The next day, Claire informed him that she intended to marry Adolf, her boyfriend. Gustav had never heard of the name before, and he was surprised to learn that Adolf worked in his office. Later that day, in order to make Claire happy, he agreed to her marriage to her boyfriend. Also, Gustav cares for his children after his wife dies. With a new morning and the aid of his friend Antoin, he was able to meet some of France's famous people, while also seeing Antoine's wife Adrienne. He felt uneasy immediately after talking to her. During the conversation, Adrian and the other guests suggested that instead of building a metro, he might consider creating something that would surpass the Statue of Liberty. Following Adrian's assertion, Gustav abruptly announced to everybody that he intended to raise an iron tower, 300 meters long, but that he would only do so in Paris, where both the wealthy and the poor could view it. Everyone supported his goal of doing away with the distinction between the rich and the poor. Meanwhile, nobody was aware of Gustav and Adrian's previous relationship or the fact that Gustav still likes Adrian. Gustav spent the entire night at his office and the following morning he started to prepare to construct the tower. In the meantime, he followed Adrian home while keeping a covert eye on her. Suddenly, his friend Anton met him outside his house and gave an invitation to come inside. Later, while looking at Adrian's things in the house, he reminisced about his love for her 20 years before. When he was just starting his engineering career in 1860, he used to speak out against the wealthy and defend the lives of his employees for a man called Burgess, whom he was constructing a bridge. He learned that Adrian, Burgess's daughter, had witnessed him helping a poor guy. The Burgess's whole family was pleased with Gustav's work, and Adrian began to develop feelings for him. Gustav was currently attempting to concentrate on his work, but he needed help in doing so, which prevented him from coming up with the ideal design. Being wealthy was difficult 20 years ago, but with Adrian's help, he was able to join the privileged community. They became closer to one another over time. Gustav, meantime, was aware that he could never trust a wealthy woman since she would leave him, if she found a better man. Adrian also becomes upset with Gustav for what he told her she began acting strangely and attempted suicide, and Gustav was overcome by her obstinacy and insanity. They began dating shortly after, and he got lost in those thoughts. Gustav eventually designed the Eiffel Tower in a few days, and when Anton saw the plan, he was taken aback. People were worried that tourists might be fearful of the tower, or believe it to be an ominous-looking sight. But Gustav was aware that everyone would aspire to be near that tower. While Gustav was with Anton, he was deliberating thinking about Adrian on the one hand, and convincing people that his design would not be harmed by storms, rain, or lightning on the other. He had created a design that many believed was unattainable. Gustav's design was on display during the fair, where architects and designers from around the globe showcased their creative building ideas. After some time, Gustav was able to construct the Eiffel Tower by overcoming them all. Adrian and Gustav grew closer after hearing the judges' decisions, and when Gustav declared victorious and Owen realized that there was a pass between the two, a few days later, construction on the Eiffel Tower started, and all of the workers were thrilled to be part of this historic project. A few days later, Gustav began telling Adrian that he wanted to see her alone, and made an effort to strengthen their relationship. He even went so far as to forgive Adrian. Adrian, at the same moment informed him that they were no longer together and that she was content in her marriage. Later, while Gustav was becoming so immersed in the past that he had forgotten everything, a construction issue also struck him. He continued in his work despite encountering certain obstacles, realizing that certain politicians merely lure journalists along for their own gain. He put forth a lot of effort working day and night to wait for Adrian to get here. 
And then, one day, out of fear for their lives, the people of Paris raised their voices in opposition to the construction, and began to demonstrate. At that point, one of Gustave's companions told him that he needed to speak with Antoine, so they could use the media to help calm the masses down. At the same time Antoine was irritated that Adrian was bothered by the voice criticizing Gustave. Adrian, in the meantime, realized that Antoine was furious about something and her anxiety grew upon learning that Antoine was the person who had disparaged Gustave. Gustav had to surrender to Antoine and endure the humiliation in front of him because he eventually realized that he would fail if he did not have the backing of people and the bank. When things were so awful that no one could work any longer, he suddenly recalled the day in the past that he had learned Adrian had left the city. Adrian's father had informed Gustav that his daughter had moved on since she didn't want to marry him and that he had merely been used. As he did not believe him, Gustav chose to wait for Adrian even if his weight was never met. After that, Gustav was once more sinking in loneliness, but Adrian revealed to him today the truth that he had never known. Adrian's parents opposed her getting married to Gustav 20 years ago. After she informed them that she would be the mother of Gustav's child, Adrian's father chose to send her away forever. Adrian suffered an injury in the process, and as a result, she lost her child. After hearing this news, Gustav broke down in tears and his relationship with Adrian resumed after years of miscommunication. A few days later, Adrian informed him that although Anton Owen was aware of the truth about them, Gustav was going to face a more serious issue. The financiers informed Gustav that since no one would support his tower, they would not be giving him any more money. After learning that, Gustav closed all of his bank accounts, sold everything, and made the decision to finish the job. He promised all of the employees later in the day that he would give them money once they cleared the first level. He gave all the workers courage because they only had 15 days to complete the first level. He promised that they would work until they died to finish this project and so the building went on. Even though there was still concern that the workers' lives would be lost during construction, Gustav continued to finish his task without hesitation and the team managed to reach the first level. They are now able to finish building 20 meters each month. Now that Gustav's victory has occurred, nobody believes that the workers' lives may be lost. Adrian joined him in his bliss and worked with him the whole time. In the meantime, Adrian made the decision to permanently leave Antoine, be married to Gustav, and spend the rest of her life with him. He told Antoine everything that same evening, but Antoine responded that Gustav and Adrian would never get married, and that even if they did, Gustav's tower would never be constructed out of fear of losing money and facing disgrace. Adrian could never leave Antoine, he added, since if they stayed together, Antoine would never stop slandering Gustav. Unknowingly, Gustav told Claire about Adrian and expressed his desire for Claire to remain with both Adrian and him. Gustav's bliss is eventually spoiled when Antoine and Adrian come to see him. Antoine informed him that it would be best for Gustav to forget Adrian because he married her when she was in the hospital and her parents severed their relationship with her at that time. Meanwhile, Gustav loses his love once more when Adrian leaves him because she wants to build a tower with him. But this time, he was not upset with Adrian since he knew that she genuinely loved him. Even though Gustav was unhappy, he continued to work. Claire realized that his father's issues and sorrows were growing at the same moment. The tower's construction proceeded quickly, and on March 31, 1889, it was unveiled to the public in front of Paris. In addition, Gustav lost everything in the process of building it. Among the masses of people, he also noticed Adrian, who was both relieved for him and devastated to lose him forever. Nobody is aware that Adrian's name was thought of when designing the tower, but Gustav sealed his place in history by erecting a historical monument in history, and he made his love eternal by building the tower for her. This concludes the film. Thank you for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe. Until we meet again, take care.